Ah, uh, hello there. My name is Delbert. And I am what you would call a bum. That doesn't mean I'm sitting at the top of a pair of legs. I wish I was. <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyway. I have uh, one or two interesting stories to tell. Tales, if you will. Stories, tales. Well, you know, all the same, except that rats don't have stories. <laughs> well, they might, I guess. Very interesting rat. But I digress. And decompose at the same time. This is my story. Now in my life, I'm, I'm able to acquire many things. Dirt, crusts, stains, scabs, but also alcohol, which is always a valuable commodity when you live on the streets and you like to drink. Now I'm the kind of guy who likes to sit around and drink and soil myself a bit. Now some people think that defecating in your own trousers is unsanitary. Some people even call it disgusting. I mean, who decided that soap was so great? Or, or toilet paper? What's wrong with underwear? Underwear absorbs poo. Absorbs it and stores it. I mean, it's a win-win situation. But that's enough beating the badger for now. As I was saying, alcohol. I won't tell you how I come by my alcohol, because I could get someone into trouble. Someone like me. <laughs> but yes, I started leaving bottles of alcohol outside a small primary school. I looked at those children, jumping rope, skipping rope, jumping skip rope, skipping jump rope, playing hopscotch, and I thought, these kids need some alcohol. I mean, come on, someone's gonna give it to them eventually. Their parents, their brothers, dirty old men. I gave out gumbo to little children. They are such lightweights, watch them You wouldn't believe it. I mean, these kids, they just drank it all. They kept throwing up, but they kept drinking. I gave them everything. Vodka, rum, whiskey, and a bottle of some green stuff I found in a rubbish bin. They drank it all. But the problem is, that leaves nothing for Delbert. And Delbert, Delbert needs his nectar. So after a while, I started diluting the bottles with my own urine. I drink some of the alcohol, and then I'd pee in the bottle. Each day I'd drink more, and I'd pee more. Until one day I realized there was no alcohol left. I was drinking my own urine and filtering it into the bottle for these kids. I pissed in a bottle and gave it to school. Sorry about that. I got uh, arrested for indecent exposure. All I was doing was having a bath in the fountain. First they want you to have a bath, then they don't want you to have a bath. Oh, where, anyway, where was I? All oh, right, the kids. The kids in the bottle. The kids in the bottle, and the urine. My urine, my urine in the bottle. Ha. Right. Right, uh... 
Oh, right, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, after a while, I figured maybe I should stop this because, you know, the kids are carrying on drinking this stuff and throwing up over each other. And, you know, it just seemed like a, a waste of good year that I could be drinking myself. And um, some people say that, you know, urine is bad for kids, although, you know, these are the same people who tote the virtues of soap and toilet paper. As you can tell, this is something of a sore spot for Delbert. But anyway, yes. I was sitting around the house, when I say house, I mean cardboard box, throwing back a, a nice warm bottle of nectar. When all of a sudden, school children, hundreds of them, they missed it. They needed it. They wanted it. My precious urine. <laughs> and what's worse is they knew where to get it. I had my pants off in seconds. They started sucking me dry, like leeches, except you're in leeches, you know, and vomiting all over me. I really wasn't too bad. Yeah, I did it too.